Thanks for coming. Good afternoon. Um, here we are and going into the last week of the regular season and looking back to our game on Saturday, you know, hard fought conference game. And uh, I thought our guys played really hard, you know, obviously got off to a good start on a special teams play. Our guys really executed it well and red hit it up in there and we go up seven nothing on the road then have a really good drive right before half to get in field goal range and make that. To be up 10 nothing at halftime was really key in that game, but we knew it was going to be a 60-minute game. And you know, up to that point, really had defended the run well. And we were, played really pretty good run defense throughout the uh, game. And you know, it came down the second half. Uh, we needed to make some plays. And when we got opportunities to score, needed to uh, get some points and find a way to get some momentum or field position changing plays and uh, just were not able to do it and they made more plays than we did down the stretch and and uh, now we move on to uh, this week and for us it's a playoff game we know we got to win the football game and this will be a very good opponent coming in they're averaging 34 points a game six yards per rush completing 70 percent of their passes you know they have targets to three main guys that are really good players at receiver tight end and and then uh, the running back their top running back averaging almost seven yards a carry so they create a lot of challenges so uh, for us we're excited about the opportunity to play a meaningful game here in November be at home but we know we got to have a great week of preparation one last thing before we go on it's senior day and uh, we might be doing it differently than other people, but just to clear it up, we are going to honor all our guys that are listed as seniors on our uh, roster and some of the guys even that are academic seniors. So uh, we don't know about our roster moving forward, and we're going to honor those guys. And if we happen to honor guys this year and the following year, so be it. We're going to honor them as seniors this year with the state of college football hit is how it is right now. That's the way we decided to do it. OK. Um, it, it looks like Illinois State has had to make make a change at quarterback, at, at least last week. Does the Rittenhouse kid um, give their offense any different look than, than the Annex did? Or, or are they similar looking offensively to you after one game? Yeah, pretty similar looking, uh, maybe. Uh, the backup who came in runs it a little bit more, but pretty much the same offense that we can see. And we got to prepare for both guys, but they're both very capable of moving the ball. You know, they uh, don't have many negative plays. That's why they're playing really good offense and scoring. You know, I think they've only given up seven sacks this year. On the flip side, they've sacked their opponents 36 times. So. Uh, you know, they just don't have many negative plays, and I think the young man that came in did a good job of that. They didn't have negative plays this past week. What, what's it like navigating the additional COVID year through this senior thing? Um, will, will you um, be glad when that era is over? I don't know if glad's the word. It's just uh, one less thing you need to think about and deal with roster-wise and dealing with individual people. You know, uh, obviously, when young men want to stay in the program and they've been really great contributors, and uh, you'd love to keep everyone that wants to stay and wants to play. And then on the other hand, some of those guys went through a long time that they're here in school and they're ready to move on to the next phase of their life. And everybody's a little bit different, but we'll sit down when the time is right to have those individual meetings, and, and then we move forward from there. Do you encourage them, hey, we'll, we'll talk about this after the season? Or, or if they've got a, a strong feeling, do, they, do you like to have them communicate it, you know, leading up to where we're at right today? Yeah, I think we've done that, you know, and nobody really is uh, committing at this point or non-committal. Some guys have in the summertime, you know, hey, this is my plan. I'd like to do it. But uh, things can change, you know. So these are young guys that we want to – really to be focused on the season and especially this week we got one thing we got to be having on our mind and that's our preparation for illinois state and then we get to saturday and that's an emotional day for families and 
those seniors that are being honored, and we got to get those emotions in check when it's time to get ready to play. Looks like uh, Illinois State must have been really solid defensively last week. What you know, like three interceptions? Um, what do they do well defensively? Yeah, they create a lot of confusion, a lot of different movement, a lot of pressures, and when they uh, get after the ball, they're very aggressive getting after the football. So give credit to them. They, they set up uh, their offense in good position three different times with short fields, and therefore they had a really good win this past week. Um, what, what did you think of the return of Gavin Zebarth? Um, was, he, um, was he on a bit of a pitch count, making sure that you eased him in? Did you feel like he was full go? Do you hope he's full go this yeah. Well, you really don't know until he gets to the game how he's going to do. And I thought he ran well. I thought he ran well. We got him carries, you know, and he felt really good the day after the game. And I think, you know, a little bit is psychological when you come back to. And I think he's in a really good spot right now going into this last week. And uh, we're happy to have him back. He's a key to our offense and, and a very good player. You, uh, you mentioned Illinois State sacks 36 on the season. How big of a week will it be for your offensive line? It's big. It's big for the offensive line, big for the tight ends, big for the backs. Everybody's involved in protection. Big for our quarterback You know, to know where it's coming from. So we've got to do a really good job of prep and avoid those negative plays. But they're very good at it. When you have 36 of them going into the last week of the season, that means you're doing something right and you're a challenge. I know closing out games, obviously, big fourth quarter kind of emphasis for you guys. Do you feel like you're getting closer to that? Well, we had an opportunity this last week on the road against, I don't know, they're ranked really high. And we had an opportunity. We got down in their end. And and then, you know, you have the two-minute drill that, um, you know, we're close on a couple plays. And that's the sport of football. You know, if we make the one catch down the sideline, then we're rolling and Maybe we get them on their heels a little bit, but we just didn't get a couple first downs to put them on their heels. And they're very good at defense, and they have good players. But I thought our belief on the sideline and our you know, energy and effort was good throughout that game. We were really pleased with our physical effort. Can we? And do we need to execute at a higher level? Sure we do. You know, but the margin for error against those top teams and good defenses is really pretty minute. You really got to execute at a high level. You mentioned how Saturday is going to feel like a playoff game. Um, in fact, it's at home. Do you like that, or do you kind of wish that the last game of the regular season gave you a little bit of opportunity for flexibility or something? Maybe? you got to embrace this moment. You know, for how many teams in the country? Now, it seems like there's a lot, and there are a lot that are playing for something, but you got to embrace, embrace this, that you get to play a meaningful game on the last week of the season against a an opponent that's won their last two and they're in the same position. I'm sure they're talking about having to win the game. What a great opportunity and what a something to really look forward to. And and we got to have a lot, a lot of focus and a lot of fun with it too. And I hope our people come out and support us and packing the Alara Center really helps us. I know we they make a difference with that type of crowd at home and and we're going to be excited to be out there. I can guarantee you that.